on Fox. Welcome back. Tis the season of giving, but with so many charities out there, how do you know which to donate to? Well, Thomas Tig is with us to help us narrow down the list. Good morning. Good morning. Now, there are so many charities out there requesting donations. How can people kind of sort through them all and pick the good ones? Well, yeah, there's 1.2 million charities, and I think it's, um, first of all, important for people to decide what they themselves care about. I think all 1.2 million charitable organizations, uh, including the one I run, Direct Relief, would love the support, but, you know, ultimately it's for people to decide. Once they do decide, I think uh, it's important to make sure that you're doing it thoughtfully and that you've done the, your homework and uh, information that's available on places like Charity Navigator do this for consumers so that they can review the uh, financial information, make sure it's a legitimate charity. And other groups like the Better Business Bureau actually um, score charities on whether they're meeting all the good governance practices um, like donor privacy and filing their uh, required reports. So I think those are important steps, both finding what you care about and then going through the due diligence to make sure it's legitimate. Now that's one of my main questions. Of course, uh, you're able to look up some of these sites online. What else, any other tips to watch out for before you decide to give? Well, I think if you go, I think websites are kind of the, the repository of all nonprofits. And I think if you, for me, if you go there, they should obviously have their financial information available, their IRS forms, their registration, you know, kind of the basic elements for any nonprofit uh, should have, um, and a, a record in place um, for how long they've been in existence. So I think those, are, if there's no donor privacy policy, if there's no financial information available on the website, for me, those are kind of obvious basic things that uh, would be flags to not necessarily exclude them from consideration, but just to dig deeper before you make a gift, for sure. Now, how are charities rated, and what do some of those ratings mean? I think the charities are rated typically on the things like the numbers that lend themselves to comparison, sort of like schools and test scores. So they're important um, to talk about what, um, how much money has been made available and how it's being spent. It doesn't necessarily make it easy to compare an animal welfare charity to an environmental charity to a humanitarian health organization. But it does provide that basic screen of kind of legitimacy and how the money is being spent, which is important. Thomas, thank you so much for joining us this morning and for some of the tips and tricks in navigating uh, those donation places. Thank you very much. Well, we uh, switch gears here a little bit. Of course, I mean, we do want to say, of course, this is a time of year that a lot of people do give. Right. Uh, it's mm -hmm. great to see, but uh, awesome to talk to someone here from an expert on some of those tips to watch out for and uh, ways to better decide which That's charities are, uh, are true, truly exactly. charities. Exactly. So. It seems like every, you know, a lot of stores you step in, they ask you to donate to their charity. So it's kind of nice to do, to plan ahead. Absolutely. Maybe pick those charities you really want to give to. Absolutely. Well, let us know. We have our Morning Mug Club up on our Facebook page. We want to know, are you serving up turkey or or ham this Thanksgiving. Maybe both. Let us know. Cool. We might get to those later. <laughs> yes. He left